most heaven. 48 out of Pennsylvania's 67 counties are rural. As populations in rural areas continue to increase, concerns regarding the lack of health care or accessibility to such in those areas have arisen. I grew up in a small town of 2,300 people, um, so rural is kind of my middle name. Um, I've always gone to a PA my entire life growing up because that's all we had out there. In 2008, there was only one primary care physician for every 1,500 or so residents of rural Pennsylvania personal experience through family members and seeing that the physician assistant actually took the time um, to speak with the patient and explain things to them which I never seemed to get through a doctor and I wanted to be able to give that personal experience back. Hope it seems gleams from the stethoscopes of physician assistants. The rise in popularity of physician assistant programs at schools such as Misericordia University or King's College begs the question, does the hope of rural health care in Pennsylvania rest in the hearts and minds of these students. Um, for me personally, um, that's what I've wanted to do. Um, I'd like to work in pediatrics and primary care, and I'd like to work in the underserved communities in the rural area. I've been in the medical field for about five years already, and I just wanted to expand on what I was able to do. I wanted to be able to go out, treat people, figure out what's going on, and I believe the PA profession you're being you're able to be very versatile with everything. Physician assistants are going to be an extension of the healthcare team. In the rural area it's usually more of a smaller community so PAs are kind of known to um, talk more with the patient and spend more time with them. PA is being the extension of the healthcare team the gaps that we're filling in really are centered on time and connectivity to the patient. It's about being able to spend the extra time to communicate with the patient, to be able to explain their health care, your treatment alternatives to them, and just to be able to educate the patient about their own health and be able to explain to them the values of preventative medicine. I mean, PAs can do 80 to 90 percent of what most physicians can do.